I didn't know anybody, so I went through the yellow pages and I looked up the, the telephone numbers for the film companies and I went around with my photograph and knocked on their doors and I said, hello, I'm Sophia, you know, I'm, I'm an actress. <laughs> and, and they said to me, oh, yes, you, you look wonderful, great, 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 but can you fight, can you fight? Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 I can fight, I can fight. Um, not realising or fully understanding that they actually meant, can I do martial arts, right? <laughs> So, anyway, I got a job on the film, my first film. I think it was called New Kids in Town or something like that. And it came, to, it came to my part and they called me onto the set and they said, OK, the action director said to me, OK, he started performing all this kung fu, you know, and I, and I just looked at him and I... Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't think I can do that. I'm really sorry, Moisey, Moisey. And... Um, Basically, it started from there. I realised that if I w wanted to continue films in Hong Kong, I would have to study martial arts. I had no foundation whatsoever. The only sports I had done was like the usual swimming, riding. Okay, I was fairly fit, um, uh, but I had to then build up some, some muscle, some strength, and the flexibility, and then punch the bag every day, and the kicks, and everything like that. And and after that, you might think that, you, okay, from there you can, you can go straight into films, but when you actually get onto the set, you know, you might spend hours and hours punching the bag with full contact, but then you get onto the set, and the first thing they do is tell you, you know, to hold your power, hold your power, you know? So in the beginning, there were a couple of occasions when I um, accidentally hit a stuntman or an actor, you know, and. Uh, you, but you learn the control as you go along. Don't be fooled by what you see on the screen. It's really not as easy as it looks, you know. I've, it took me a long, long, long time to get into it because there's so many things you have to learn. And also there's, uh, there can be, you have to have a lot of tolerance, a lot of patience, a lot of stamina. Uh, you have to be really um, dedicated to your training because if you're not physically fit, you cannot keep up. I mean, first of all, the hours are long enough on a set anyway. But then to be fighting for seven of those hours, you know, a day after day after day, because these action sequences go on for a long time, right? You might be fighting for five days. There's a film called um, Story of the Gun. And we were shooting in a derelict house. And I had to do one stunt where I just had to jump through a wall. Well, there was a hole in the wall. And it was fire, fire all around the hole. And because it was derelict building, there was lots of rubble around. But there's no time. There's never any time in Hong Kong movies. Everything's done really, really quickly. So the director's saying, come on, come on. We've got an explosion to do yet. We want to get this shot out of the way. So I said, OK, set it up. Now jump through here. So I jumped through. I broke my foot, you know. Um, but I had to continue. There was no way that they could cut me out of the film at that stage because I'd already worked a certain amount of days, right? So the director was begging me, saying, please continue. So I did. And um, my action sequences took place on boats, which was difficult enough because I had my foot in plaster, trying to fight with one leg. And it was just incredible. I mean, talk about improvising. They, they shot me in my, in my right leg because I was limping so much. I 
think Hong Kong is a great foundation for me to get as much practical experience as I can for the, my future. Um, because you can really experiment in front of the camera here. You can do basically what you like, you can play around. Michiko gained fame in her native Japan by becoming a three times powerlifting champion. Aside from her strength, Michiko is also adept at gymnastics and martial arts. Needless to say, she developed an instant following. At the, at the first, when I was uh, high school, I tried um, gymnastics. And then I tried bodybuilding and uh, powerlifting. I, I, I used to be bodybuilding champion, a powerlifting, powerlifting champion. You know powerlifting? <laughs> and later I tried karate and uh, Chinese martial arts. And also filming, I tried Japan first and then I come to Hong Kong. You know, they got a lot of problems because of women. We need, you know, uh, somebody help, you know, uh, make a fighting in a, some stunts. But that time I almost try myself. That's why I get some scar, you know. It's, see the scar again? This is, you know, make from, uh, you know, shooting with Jackie Chan. I'm not an you know, action actress in Japan, but uh, I can do, and also sometimes it's very uh, exciting, you know. Um, in fact, I think for Western people, Hong Kong film is not, you know, unreal about action. But uh, we need, you know, making very quickly, you know, also making uh, very sharp and uh, beautiful. thinking about I'm action actress, fighting actress. I'm a um, feeling, you know, I can try romantic film and uh, everything. Um, I think my English is getting very good, you know, getting better. If you need agent girl, please call me. <laughs> <laughs>